you know, have better conversations, get our foot in the door, and you know, do that on the side of the business. <clears throat> um, so different nights, you know, we have different things. Pretty soon we're going to be talking about like dispo and finding, you know, buyers and things like that as well. So, yeah, so Hey, good evening, everybody. Hey, Graham, how's it going, buddy? Good evening, Sean. Good evening, everyone. Uh, good to see familiar faces and some new faces as well. Uh, uh, welcome. Have a terrific night in uh, in learning and networking and, and growing in our business. Uh, hey, Cody, uh, welcome. So, what are we going to get up to today, Cody? Yeah, what well, what should we do today? Let's do some call calibrations. Okay, we uh, we we kind of got away from our call calibrations and role play. So uh, we definitely want to open it up for question and answer, uh, and we definitely want to get to our, our role plays and our and our call calibrations. So that's our bread and butter. That's how we get better. So absolutely, there, yeah. yeah absolutely. Party, so if you've never done um, spoken before on one of these zooms, uh, definitely. Be bold and speak up. Um, it's not. There's no wrong answers. Everybody has an opinion, and we can debate sometimes uh, what we're doing and how we do it, uh, why we do it, the calibrations of of the calls and learning, and role playing. Um, nothing like role playing in a safe place. Uh, as Cody, you like to put it. How do you put it? You don't practice on your paycheck, right? <laughs> That's right. We don't want to practice on our paycheck. Yeah. Hmm. I, and so, um, Lionel, do we have a, a call that we can play and uh, calibrate? Lionel. Lionel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will play um, calls today. We okay. can start with the DNC call. That's yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, does everyone know what DNC is? Who can put tell a, us? Put a one in the chat if you know what DNC is. Put a two if you do not know what DNC is. Please. Got a two and a one. We got 20 people in here, so we only had two votes. We only had two votes. Yeah, can't be shy. I mean, that's an easy climbing out of the boat, isn't it, Cody? <laughs> yeah. You just have to get okay. your fingers out, press a key. So let's have everyone vote. Let's all participate tonight. Yeah. Okay. We've got a one, two ones, and one two. Okay, Amaru, make a make a make a, a decision. Yes or no? Do you know what DNC is? Yes uh, no? What was what was uh, no two? Yeah, two is no. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go with two, so I don't, Excellent. I, I don't Excellent. make any any errors and say yeah, I think I might know, but but then okay. I ended up knowing nothing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. okay. Okay, we've got a lot more participation there, so we have a, a majority of ones and a few twos. That's great. Yeah. So look, this is just an an, an example, an illustration that if you have the same question, you have a question, other people have the same question too. So don't be yeah. afraid. To say you don't know, because yeah. we don't practice on our paycheck. We don't want it to be a, on a phone call when someone says, "Hey, I'm on the DNC." Do you know what that means? And you're like, "Uh, uh." Now you can be like, "Yeah, yeah. I know what that means." That means. Hey, Cody, I'm gonna pick on somebody that uh, put one in the chat, and they can explain what DNC is. So I'm gonna pick on Chung. Chung. I remember now what DNC. it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, do not call. <laughs> do not call. Is um, yeah. That that's that's it. Yeah. Uh, well, who but, are? Uh, yeah. Uh, f f funny thing. I mean, uh, I I've got I've gotten two calls where those people claim that they were in the DNC list, but 
I mean, we call them nevertheless. Uh, are they lying or is this something, uh, an error from the DNC list? Yes. That's a very good question, and we can look that up. So, um, Cody, do you want to explain how that works? Yeah, so I said yes because you asked the two questions. It could be they're lying, or it could be that they're on the list. They could have registered before. They could have had their old number registered, and it's a new number is not registered. We don't know. So sometimes we do call. So there's a, there's a gray area in this, right? So say phone numbers get recycled a lot, right? So if... I had this number I registered as, as on DNC. Like this number that's up there right now is on DNC. My other number, my personal line, is not on DNC. I'm, I'm sorry, it's vice versa. This number I have up is not on DNC. My personal phone, phone number is on DNC. If I give up this phone number and it gets assigned to somebody else, is it still, is that still, you know, that person signed up to be on DNC, not the phone number. So it's kind of a gray area. So yes, we do sometimes make calls to people that have their number registered on the DNC. In that event, in that event, as soon as we become aware, if it is explicitly said, you know, like, hey, I'm on the DNC, don't call me anymore. We take them off the list. We don't pursue it any further. It's not worth it, right? We just leave them alone, go on to the next call, go on to the next lead, right? Does that answer your question, Mario? Yeah, and you can yes, never yes. get to yes, trouble yes. for calling. By the way, you can never get into trouble by calling a DNC the first time. It's the second time that it becomes an offense if you're soliciting. Okay, so we would be very careful with our opening statements. Like if we say, uh, are you thinking about selling your property? Are we soliciting? I mean, in the court of law, a judge might say, no, you're not. You're just asking a question and you're curious on whether they're selling or not. So. It's really questionable it whether you even be prosecuted. But when somebody requests to be on the DNC, we've got to put uh, that we shouldn't call that number again. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we, if we did, then we are in violation and we can be prosecuted because they've asked to be on the DNC. So it's there's a distinction there. So don't be afraid of of cold calling when you get the list. And somebody says, I'm on the DNC. Well, you apologize immediately and click DNC as a disposition and they won't be called again. So that you're completely safe calling the cold list. Because as Cody just pointed out, numbers are recycled all the time. And there's no way you can be prosecuted on the first call. All right. So, so I think, that, does that cover everything, Cody, do you think, about DNC? Yeah, it does, it, uh, basically. And then sometimes we get into a gray area where people, you know, you think that they're like, you know, not interested and don't call me. That's not, that's not DNC. If somebody says, don't call me, like, you know. Right. They have to specifically ask to go on the do not call list. Otherwise, we just move on to the next number. Uh, so that's that's a good point as well. And then there's DNC legal. So, and this is the way we process it in our system. So we have DNC. So somebody asks to get on a, put me on the do not call list. That's what we do, DNC. And then DNC legal is where they're really going ballistic and they're mining for information. I had one today, Cody. Yeah, I I called him. We thought nothing of it. And went on to the next one and then he started calling in and um so i answered the phone and he said what's your business address i thought immediately that was dnc legal right i mean yeah. he didn't even say hello so yeah. i need to uh, put that on dnc legal and the guy kept calling me calling me throughout the next two hours he called yeah. and called and called he was trying to get the information so he could prosecute us. But it's very easy. And the cold calling system, you just click reject right away as soon as it pops up. And he says, we're not going to talk to him. All right? Because he's clear that he wants that he's on the DNC. And we, we can look it up in Google. Um, and Cody will put it in the chat while we listen to the uh, DNC call. And we're going to vote on whether it's DNC or whether it's DNC legal. 
So do you want to play that call? Sure, okay. let me play it. Hi, this is Cameron with the Home Buyers Network. How can I help you? I'm returning a phone call. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're real estate investors and we were giving you a call to see if you were interested in selling the property on Automove. Is there a chance I can meet you in person and talk about it? Absolutely. If, if you are in, if interested in selling, we would like to walk through before purchasing the property. Okay, where can we meet? At the property, Autumn Leaf Road, to view the house. When would you like to meet here? Well, are you interested in selling? We need to do our numbers, see what number we come up with, and see if this would even be a property we would be interested in purchasing. We don't buy all properties. That's fine. Okay. So are you interested in selling? I'm interested in getting in contact with one of you guys to deliver a, a lawsuit. Okay. So you are or are not interested in selling? I'm interested in being in person with one of you to give you a lawsuit or have the police do it. Well, okay, I'm not I want sure I understand, sir. Well, I'm, I'm suing you. And the, either the police or my lawyer or my... Okay, I think that's pretty easy. I think the call ended. That was a yeah, great actually, one. there's multiple calls from this um, seller. So if you guys want to listen all, and then we can give feedback or... Yeah, let's pause right here and do two things. One, Cameron did a great job on this call. He did a great job on this call. He was calm. He addressed the person, and he made sure that he was you know, not interested in selling. So... He said he he came up with a couple of objections. He said, first off, he said, "Yeah, you guys come. You, can I meet with you in person? You come walk the property." Cameron said, "Absolutely. We come to a an agreement. We end up buying this property. We'll we'll absolutely come walk the property before we buy it. Are you interested in selling?" Oh yeah, I'm interested in meeting with somebody. And okay, great. Yeah, that's a you know we don't buy every property we look at. He he. I don't remember the all the the rebuttals that he had, but they were almost textbook. To when people yeah, say yeah. this, okay. So, when people, one thing straight off the bat, if people are asking you about the company, what your company is, the address, your email, your phone number, your, uh, you know, your tax ID, your EIN, or any of that stuff, that is a red flag. This is DNC legal, okay? Because nobody cares about our business when we're calling these people. When we're calling people cold like this, they do not care if they're asking you about the business. They're trying to get information so they can send us a demand letter. So tread lightly. In that instance, when you are aware that they're just fishing for information to try to send us in a demand letter or send us a lawsuit, just so, hey, look, we don't, it sounds like I'm bothering you. Definitely don't want to bother you. I'll go ahead and take you off our list. Have a good day. Flick, bye. Hang up on them. You don't have to sit there and listen to all this other malarkey about them suing you. I'm, and let me tell you this too. like. Let's desensitize everybody to, hey, I'm going to have my attorney serve you. I'm going to have the police serve you or myself. They might serve you themselves, maybe, but it costs money to file a lawsuit. OK, attorneys cost four, five, six, seven hundred dollars an hour. All right. Nobody's got when people say I'm going to have my attorney do it. They ain't got an attorney. They don't have an attorney. And the police, I'm, I'm telling you, I am the police. I'm telling you, the police ain't coming out to serve you or serve anybody with anything for you making a, you know, a legitimate first time cold call. Okay. So don't be afraid of that. Like, yeah, I'm going to have the police or myself or my attorney coming. That's all attorneys cost. Like I said, six, five, six, seven hundred $700 an hour. They ain't coming out to serve you. You know what I mean? Just say, Hey, it sounds like we call we're investors looking for our next fix and flip. Sounds like I'm bothering you. We definitely don't want to bother you. We'll take you off our list. Have a good day. Goodbye. That's it on those when they're fishing for information. Okay, so just be aware of that. If they're asking you about the company and all that, don't don't fall for it. Like, oh, they they wanna know about the company. They, they're interested. Nope, they don't care. 
They don't care. They're just trying to get some information to file a lot or send send a demand letter. That's very good, Cody. Yeah, and also, I mean, the only criticism I have of the guy on this call is that he's on the phone too long. Once he discovers, you could be on the on talking to a seller who's interested in selling. So as soon as you know it's DNC legal, after that point, you are wasting your time, and uh, you might trip up. He might catch you and make you say something you didn't mean to say. So the best thing is to be very polite and say, it. it's to me, it's very clear that you do not want to sell the property. And so with that, uh, we're, we're, you know, I'm going to hang up. Uh, God bless and uh, just do that click or, you know, be very polite, be very professional. Like, whose call was this? Because um, it was very good. Like yeah, you. it's Cameron. He's a uh, he's yeah. in sub two. He comes to the Wednesday zooms. He's he's pretty good. It he's was very good. good, you know. And he he didn't until you until you know it's DNC legal. You know you're not going to hang up. But as soon as you do, don't waste a single second more. There's no point. All right. Right. Okay. Let's uh. Are there any questions about DNC? Does anybody have any any sp particulars about getting you know calling a uh, DNC or DNC legal or a particular scenario that's come up that you're wondering about anything like that? Mm, me, uh, well, it's not questions per se. I just wanted to share experiences. Uh, so far, I've been, I mean, the, the the calls I've made and I ran into this DNC thing. Uh, Two of them were straight, and they say, "Do not call." We're in the in the do not national uh, uh, the national do not call list, and they they they, they hung up. Um, then there was another when 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 he said the same, and I have forgot about it, and I and I told him uh, I, because I I forgot. And I told him, I'm sorry, I, I I don't know what what that means. And he said, I don't believe you. And and he asked for the name of the company. I mean, I said it because I mean it's part of a script. Uh, we're we're a home buyers network. Okay, we're 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 starting a lawsuit. And I was like, okay, I believe you. And then he he hung up. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's fine. That's why we that's why we have the home buyers network. I mean, has anybody Googled that? What did yeah, it? What, what, what came up? <laughs> oh, the, the the first result is it's a web page for the home buyers network. Is that our website? Yep. Oh, that's new. There's well, I there. presume it. I presume it was the home buyers network website, and it's like ours. And then I, I scroll down a little farther and read very nice reviews about people getting their their, their houses uh, yeah that's bought. that's definitely not our website oh House, housebuyernetwork.com i just looked it up right that's not us so my point is thank you my point is that's a a, a deliberately vague name you know we could be like or the local home buyers is another one that we use right it's just we are a network of real estate investors who buy real estate, you know, across the United States. So when we say the the local home buyers, or the home buyers network, it's deliberately vague for that purpose. We don't want to give out any company information. You know, we don't want to say we're a part of the REI conveyor belt or anything, anything like that. Don't be baited into that. You know, we don't have to give anybody inf any information. Okay that information will come we're not trying to withhold it from people that information will come once we consummate a deal once we make a deal once there's a transaction all of that will become clear you know we have a title right. company, you know, so it's that's not right. as though it legal, it. Doesn't it? yeah it goes through legal and uh, that's one of the rebuttals on the script if you remember um if you look at your script you know um title and attorneys and their real names are all on the paperwork so 
But that's once we know, know somebody's done a deal, we've spoken to them numerous times and we've created that relationship. Yeah. Any other questions about DNC or DNC legal? Or any particular scenarios? Yeah, so put a, uh, put a seven in the chat if you learn something new about DNC from that. Let's see if uh, that was useful. <laughs> Let's participate. Any sevens? No sevens? So you all knew oh, all that. Huh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your sevens. Yeah. All right. That's well, good. He, I, I think he called me, and I think I probably failed, but I don't know if she has the call with me that we could listen to. I sent a yeah. message because I don't know what I was supposed to say, and maybe said I don't know. Too much. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, I think he called me too. <laughs> Where, what day was it from? Today. From today. I sent a message. Sean had someone look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we language. have that one. Yeah, for this one, that. because this were a series of calls from the same seller, so I think we have that one. That the last one was from Marcy, and I think she handled the call very well. So I think we should listen to that call. Thank yeah, you, I Mark. have it. Let me play yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, this is Marcy. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi, this is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Um, I am I work for Home Buyers Network. We're like a local real estate investor company. Is that here? Where are you located? We're here in Texas. So are you? Texas you get a state. call from your? Excuse me. Texas is a big state. Yeah. Well, we're buying right now in Huddle. Okay. Are you looking to sell, or um, I guess you called me, so I'm not sure. Well, actually, I returned a call. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And we have a few people that call, so I I wasn't the one that called you, but. Um, are you looking to oh, sell? Boy. I'm calling about this property on Autumn Leaf Road. I'll happily meet one of you there. Okay, we we would get to that. This calls just to determine interest, then I would send it up to my property specialist. They do their due diligence. We would walk it at some point, but we're not going to do that now. But are you looking okay. to sell then? Let me explain what's actually going on. Okay. So that you're in the know. Okay. Um, one of your lovely coworkers woke me up after not sleeping for 36 hours and finally sleeping for two hours I'm and sorry. is now the definition of waking a sleeping giant. I've called you guys 45 times. I'm going to keep calling until one of you admits that you violated federal law, at which point I'll go away and I won't see you. Or I'm going to get your address and I'm going to sue you. Or I'll call until the end of fucking time. Those are the three options that exist because now I'm furious. If you admit it, I go away. You never hear from me again. I don't know what you're wanting me to admit. That you guys violated federal laws. I'm on the National Do Not Call Registry. Oh, I yeah. I violated I, a $1,000 law. I will go away and not seek any kind of retribution, but you're going to admit it. Or it's going to go to court. Or I will keep calling forever. I never, ever give up when, I'm, when I've been wronged. Ever. Okay. Well, I apologize if you're on the list. We do scrub our list to, to avoid this. If you want, I can put you on the do not call list. And so you admit that you guys violated the law? I don't. I can't say that I admit we did that. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, but if you say you know, that you're on I that list, if you say you're on that list and we called you, then I would say, yeah, we did. Like Great. Congratulations. You did the one thing that your other coworkers didn't do. Now I get to go away and you get to continue to try and bilk people for money. Have a great day, honey. Okay, and I will take you off our list. I apologize. Yeah, you should because if you call me again, I'll actually hire a PI and find one of you fuckers. And okay. I will do something a lot worse than see you. Okay. <laughs> Man, these calls get me kind of riled up. I, you know, it's, you, you always say, uh, my dad always tells me, you, you, you always... Take a couple of breaths and you respond. 
you don't react. So I'm about to react right now. So maybe I'll let Graham say something, but um, go ahead, Graham. I will. Uh, Marcia, you did a really good job, except I don't know how how long was that call? How was how long was the call? Um, around three minutes. Okay. Now, if you're doing cold calling um, and nobody's answering, it's usually about ten seconds. So there's quite a few calls you could have got in during that call. Um, that's the only criticism I have. I thought you dealt really well because now he's not going to call and waste his life because he's only wasting his life. He wouldn't be wasting ours because when we get an inbound call, you can click just the reject button, right? If we know uh, what they're coming in about, that's why I'm to me today. And I knew if I, I clicked answer, I would just be wasting my time. I mean, he just wants his pound of flesh, you know, he wants to get revenge, maybe, <laughs> you know, on us, you know. I mean, listen to how he sounded about one of us. We're strangers to him. I mean, he wants his pound of flesh, you know. So why waste time with guys like that? We don't need to. So um, just move on as soon as you know it's a DNC legal, click on the DNC legal. But Marcy, I thought your tone was beautiful. And you actually diffused him, so you got a tremendous weight with you. The only thing is, three minutes could have been spent elsewhere. And that's just, we're trying to get people who are interested in, in wanting to sell the properties. So that's the only negative I would say on that, you know. You diffused him, and that's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have to waste his time now calling us forever more. I mean... <laughs> Why would somebody do that? I don't think they could, you know. They have to employ somebody to do that because you've got other things to do in life, right? I mean, that's crazy. So that's my reaction, Cody. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I'm just, you know, we're on a team here. We're 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 all a part of a team and a group and a you know, some would say a family here, but I we're on a team, we all work together. I'm protective of, of myself and everybody here. Too. So what I would say, Marcy, you did a great job. And I want to let everybody know you do not, you do not get paid to get abused for anybody to, to tell you, talk kind of talk any kind of way to you, call you outside your name. So, you know, people swear and stuff at us. It's not right. And for those people, you know, I, I had a different upbringing than other people, whatever. But you know, sometimes people don't they don't swear. They don't talk like that at home. Their parents don't talk to them like that. You know what I mean? They don't use bad curse words. My wife calls them uh, malas palabras, right? Like they don't talk like my wife doesn't talk like that. You, you know what I mean? Like I, I got a, a dirty, bad mouth, right? Like you don't talk like that. It's disrespectful and it hurts people. You, you know what I mean? So just because it doesn't hurt me, yeah. doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt people. So I just want to let everybody know you don't have to be, a, you could just click that beep button at any time. Like he kept calling her sweetheart, honey stuff like that like you don't have to put up with that and the same yeah. thing with people same thing with people with like, if you have an accent or something like that or whatever and there's and they're mocking you or something like that they hang, you don't have to put up with that there's no there's you're not getting paid to do that we don't expect you to to put up with that and you can hang up on somebody on their face at any time you don't have yeah. to pain them and and placate them and say this that and the other thing just beep just hey i, I didn't mean to bother you Sounds like you're having a horrible life. Something happened to you. Somebody hurt you. Goodbye. Beep. That's it. You don't have to. And put always up. be, yeah. And always be. Bear in mind, if this was played in court, right, and the judge was listening to it, do you think if they'd rule in his favor with all that language? No way, right? <laughs> no way, Jose, right? Yeah, you acted professionally, and uh, we didn't do anything to 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 uh, violate the law. So. Um, Bear that in mind, sometimes when you're talking to these guys, you know, always be professional. Imagine that it was in court, you know, and yeah, if you and you can cut uh, anybody off at any time by just saying God bless in a very professional tone and click, That's even good. if they're in mid sentence, right? Because imagine that in, in court being listened to in court, right? You were respectful, professional, you say God bless, and you hung up, right? 
you got your job to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. We spent uh, quite a bit of time on DNC. I think we covered the, the range. Okay. The takeaways are, if you sense it's a DNC, bail on the call as soon as possible. I don't want anybody getting abused or hitting any garbage from people. And then move on to the next call. But both calls that we heard today were handled very, very well. We, there's always room for improvement, which is a standard. We, you know, it goes without saying. And I, I don't have any problem with the way any of those calls were handled. Today, those were handled perfectly, in my opinion. And, and don't, we, we are not here to be abused. We don't require anybody here to, to, to endure any abuse from anybody on these phones. Okay? Any questions? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Do we have a call? What time? Okay, we're at six o'clock. Do we have a call to uh, calibrate a, a normal call? Yeah, we do have from uh, Mario. Uh, Seller Excellent. need call performance. Excellent. And let me play the call. Thank you. Hello. Yes. This is Amaro with the Home Buyers Network. We real estate investors. We real estate investors. I just wanted to see if you have considered possibly selling. Do I have what? Um, we real estate investors. I just wanted to see if you have considered possibly selling this property. What, what are you doing? You want to buy? Or, or, I don't understand what you do. We yeah, we buy. If you're looking to sell, we we buy, sir. It's a, it's a hundred fifty thousand. Oh, okay. Uh, let me write that down. A hundred fifty thousand. Perfect. Um, is that price negotiable by any chance? What? Oh, is your final offer? Oh, I mean, you're making making an offer. Oh, um, well, now that I know that you're interested to, to sell, um, I'm going to have this, uh, I'm going to have you, I'm sorry, to, to uh, put in the, in, the, in the list to be called back by the property specialist and they will, they will, uh, they will give you the, the, the number that will benefit you. Uh, but, okay. Um, I just also wanted to know uh, if if you could, if, if you don't mind, um, tell me more about the the house, uh, so so we can understand better um, what why you're asking the, the, this number, and uh, of course uh, uh, give give you the money, like you know the condition of the house, uh, number number of bedrooms, is it is it an old house? If you go under zero, you will find out. Okay. Okay. So the information is over already over there. Perfect. Mm. So mm, between one to ten, being ten, a brand new house. Uh, what would you rate your your house? It's about six, seven. Six, seven. Okay, that's a very good number. Okay. Well, um, at the moment, uh, is anyone living in this property? There again. Uh, is anyone living in the property right now? No. Perfect. Uh, what kind of lease? Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. You, no, you already said no. Sorry, I'm, I'm just going on. Mm, may I know uh, the reason why you thinking about possibly selling? Oh, selling? Oh, sorry, no, not possibly. Do I, do I need a reason for that? Mm, yeah, because oh, sometimes uh, people are in in an urgency and they need money, so uh, that that can be prioritized. In, in because I'm I'm making notes here, and the property specialist uh, reads those notes, 
and they they know who to call first if it's very urgent and they they need uh, these one hundred and fifty thousand dollars they 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 will call you with priority. Make me an offer. Okay. So the motivation. Okay, that's not specified. That's fine. Okay. We can close. All right. Uh, we, we we'll call you back. I'm gonna put you, as I said, in the interested list, and and the property special are going to call you back. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. Maru, what's your feedback for yourself on that call, brother? Um, <laughs> I already said it last time, sticking to the to the to the script. No matter how nervous I am when I get the the yes, I'm interested to sell. But my excuse will be this time that uh, he he gave me this curveball that I I have to check the Zillow. Web page. Um, yeah. Well, mo, mo, uh, I I I I have to be more assertive. Uh, I don't know when, not not pushing with questions because he was he was answering. Uh, in, in, in spite of saying, "Make me an offer, make me an offer." And well, yeah. Um, as you as you said last time, be be more in control. I think yeah. this call was was prior to the advice you you gave me to be more in control. Because the calls I made today, I I can say with certainty that yeah, I was in control. <laughs> okay, so I'll take I'll take you uh, at your word on that. That's fine. It's all to get better. Okay, so one thing I want to point out. Uh, that you did well, your intro is getting smoother, okay? Uh, in the beginning of the call, I heard, hello, hello, and then you kind of went into the intro. The part of the intro that I heard, it was a little bit choppy or, or not in, in a little inaudible, but the, your intro sounded smooth. That gets you into the call. And the other feedback I have, yeah, so you know, that's, that's good. Build on that because without the intro, you don't get into the call. The other feedback I have for this call is the feedback that you, you gave your, yourself. So I'm just going to underscore this underline and just say this whole thing. We need to role play, brother. We need to role play some more. So let's get a role play in today. Okay. Because I don't want to just tell you these things and we don't practice them. Okay. Because it's hard to practice on a call because you get nervous. We all get nervous and that's our paycheck. So it's, it's, it's natural to be nervous. So I'm going to yeah. give you this. I'm going to give you this feedback and then let's get out, let's do a role play and then give you some feedback from that. And we're going to get some reps in like that, Amaru. You've got, you've got the heart for it, brother. And you can do this. You, you need to get over the nervousness and following that script. Okay. That script is become. Uh, I was thinking that as well, Cody. Yeah. I was, I was going to ask Amaru, did you practice 10 times before you got on the phone today, the script? No, today I didn't. I, I won't lie about it. Okay. I just Thank did, did my all. chores and, yeah. and started to work. Right. Well, let, let, tomorrow is a new day. Uh, practice 10 times and you'll be surprised at the difference, right? Because you were floundering a number of times during that call. Sorry, Cody, I interrupted, but no, I, I, I was great. I wanted to underline what you were saying there. The practice is so important. You know, whether you're an amateur or professional athlete, you're going to practice, right? I mean, there's no way you're going to win the cup unless you practice. Most guys practice all day long, don't they? You know, and this is your job. So practice at least 10 times the script. It doesn't take very long if you do that, a week or two, and you know the script, and you, you can turn on your feet. You can pivot and turn no matter where they're taking you, and it rolls off your tongue because you practice. So that's so important as you're not going to survive. You know, you're not going to last, and that will be a shame because you're turning up. Go ahead, Cody. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 
No, it's fine. So, you know, in, in fact, we need to just recognize where we, where we're at. The other feedback I have for you is just kind of kind of fall on deaf ears because it's it's a little bit ahead of where you are right now, which is fine. We need to get you comfortable with the script in so far as that you don't mention it. You know, you you're ner you're so nervous on the phone, you're you're thinking out loud and telling him that you're 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 um you're like, oh, I'm just sticking to the script here, you know, because you're you're you just don't have anything to fall back on. So it's important that we get some role plays in. Okay. That's what's going to help you out. Okay. I, I also wanted to ask because that, that's why I gave my that 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 thing with myself. Uh sticking to, to the script. Uh was that okay that I literally improvised the the, the prioritizing thing that um okay I I'm writing down this this number that you gave me and and thanks to that the especially proper the property specialists are, are going to 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 call you back uh right mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know what i yes said no. yes and no okay. so sometimes it's advisable it's permissible expedient good to let the person know if you're if there is a abnormally long pause dead air that's okay to throw that in or hey excuse me i'm just writing a writing a couple notes down here OK, at that juncture, it wasn't it wasn't appropriate, in my opinion, just because how long does it take to write down 150? You, you know what I mean? You don't have to tell them that you're writing that. Um, it's just right now you're kind of thinking when you get on the phone and I, I can tell tell you right now, you're breathing, your heart rate goes up, your your, your breath shorten, you're not getting enough oxygen in your brain, you're you're hyperventilating a little bit. You, you know, because you're, you're nervous, you're like, you know, you're taking shallow breaths instead of deep breaths, you, you know, and you're just worried about the next thing that you're going to say and going down the list. That's that's the wrong thing to be focused on in a call. What we need to be focused on in a call is this person's story, you know, and what the what has them thinking about possibly selling, essentially. But if we're worried about what the next thing is we're going to say in the script, that's what's going to come across in the conversation and it's going to sound scripted. And that's almost always going to crash and burn. We've all been there. That's the baby steps. That's when you're learning to fly, learning to flap your wings. So we need to do some role plays, brother. So we need to get into that right now. Because any any feedback I give you, it's it's too soon. Okay. So let's get into let's get into this is part of your practice. So let's go ahead and start off with the role play. I'll set a timer for uh, for five minutes. Okay. okay. And we're going to role play this, okay? And this will be helpful for everybody because we all go through these stages. And I'm not, I'm pretty recognized. I'm not singling you out. I'm not picking on you. This is something that we've all gone through. We need to go through it. You're going through it publicly here. Uh, Chung, Chung went through it. You know, Chung can attest. Marcy just said she went through it. So this is trial by fire. So this is what we're going to do. This is how you're going to get better. We can't just do it here, though, brother. We got to do it on our own, too. But we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to let you take it. We're gonna work through the barking dogs and all. That's gotta be fixed too. But let's let's go. Take it away on a ring ring. I'm ready when you are. Sorry, I, I was waiting for the dogs to, to be quiet. Okay, thank you. Um, let's go. Ring ring. Hello. Hey Cody, this is Amaro with the local with the local home buyers. Uh, I was calling about your property on Third Street. We're, we're real estate investors. I just wanted to see if you have considered possibly selling. Third Street, yeah, I'm I'm interested in selling that property. What's your offer? Oh, well, you're looking to sell. Well, perfect. Um, we. We're looking to buy properties in this area. Um, offer, that's a great question. Um, well, I'm I'm not allowed to 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 say to, to say that because um that, that's a part of my job. But uh, do you mind uh, uh, saying a number that you will have in mind for your property? Well. I'm listen, I'm a real easy seller here. I'm the best seller you could possibly come across. Okay. I definitely want to sell this place. 
and I just want to get talk to a real person. So a lot of people call me and they sound scripted. They're like, they're going off a script. You know, they, I heard somebody say like something about four pillars or something like that. So just, oh. just, just talk to me, man. Like I would definitely want to sell this place, but I don't want to just throw out a number. Cause I might, you know, the first person who says a number loses. So, you know, make okay. me, make me an offer. How do we get to an offer? Mm, well, uh, now being uh, completely honest, well, I was honest, starting with my, with my name that, uh, <laughs> But I'm gonna I'm gonna go off spread uh, a, a, a little more now. Uh, but um, can you tell can you tell me a, a, a little uh, about your your home? I mean, so I can I can understand uh, the, the why you, you you thought about that number for your home. Yeah. So every house has a story, right? It's my house is like I know I heard you like books. My house is like an open book. It's a brand new book though. It was just built last year. So everything is in perfect condition. We haven't even lived in it. Oh. I bought it as, I bought it as a rental so it's it's essentially brand new. So, so I at just, the moment Sorry, 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 sorry. Go. On. I just really want to sell it, and get it off my books. Okay, so no one's living in in this house at the moment and mm, do do you mind sharing the why you have this urgency to sell? Well, I'm not in a rush to sell. I'm not desperate, but I bought okay. it with the intent to just kind of fix it up or just or just to, uh, to rent it out as a short term rental Airbnb. But that market's kind of tanked, so it's not really mm -hmm. renting out like I thought it would be. So ever ever since it was it was built, uh, it's been uh, rented uh, to people. Is is that what you you you're also trying to tell me? No, I'm trying to tell you, and it's it's a little bit difficult hearing. I, it sounds like there's some background noise there. I mean, I, it's hard to kind of hear you, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. It hasn't been rented. I was gonna rent it as an Airbnb, but I haven't been able to. There's just no market there for it. So. It's not the investment that I thought it would be, and that's why I want to get rid of it. I see. I I understand. Well, we can help you with that. Uh, we can close as quickly or as slowly as slowly as you would like. Um, with that being said, what time frame works for this for you? The sooner, the better, because this thing is just costing me money every month. Okay. Well um is this info is this a good number to call you back and also the the the, the email address that, 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 I'm, that i'm seeing here uh so uh, once i uh, put you in the interested to to sell uh list uh the especially pro the property specialist uh reach back yeah i don't know how you have my email address but uh my this is the best number to reach me at oh <laughs> So yeah, okay. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share about the home? Nope, that's it. Time. Perfect. Well, okay. thank thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it, and uh, I I Cut. guarantee you that. Uh, oh, time, time. Or? Yeah, that's it. Cut. Oh, Cut. okay. <laughs> okay. So Cody, let's have a few people who've never given feedback before. You know, let's um let's shall we pick on a few people? I mean, it'd be nice to hear what their opinions are. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah, please. Who wants to give uh Amaru some feedback? Uh, good job, Amaru. At least you kept the conversation going. You know, it sounded good. Uh, I'm, the first time I did a, a role play, I, I I cut it off short. So congratulations on that. And just keep practicing that script, and I, I'm sure you'll get a little better on that intro and on everything else. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.
So a few more people. I'm looking at you, Quentin Parrot. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of the call? Is that who's saying your name, Quentin? Yes, sir. That is correct. Uh, th thank you for coming to the call. What did you think of that role play? Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, I think he uh, did a good job. I've never role played myself, so this would be my first time. But uh, I think he did pretty good. I noticed uh, whenever he had asked him about his email address, um, I do know that you can uh, receive certain information from public records. Yeah, but true. I think that would have. I think that would have uh, helped the seller understand, yeah. you know, um, the transparency of the buyer. Yeah. Just knowing that information. Yeah, thank you. That's, and uh, you've got the link to the scripts, have you, Quentin? Because you could be practicing that too. Uh, are you planning on getting on the phones? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, yeah. Quentin, you make a really good point. Grandma cut you off. Yeah, is it all right? You, no, my you didn't. no, go ahead. Yeah, we can cut each other off. We can keep bouncing with one to the other. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Keep Quentin, it you made, a, you made a really good point about that when I said, I don't know how I got my email address. You said that was a good, that's a good uh, rebuttal response to that. I wasn't really asking, it was kind of a rhetorical question, but that was very good. Yeah, it's it's public record. That's how we, yeah, it's all public record. It's a good response to that. What I wanna- Is, is that a I good wanna, uh, reply? It's public yeah. record? Yes, if somebody, okay. so that's a, that, that, so that, number one, that's a statement. You know, I mean, you gotta be careful, right? When people ask a question or make a statement, like, hey, the sky is blue. Like, that's not asking you to make a comment on it. That's just a statement. So I said, I don't know how you got my email address. That's a statement. It's not how did you get my email address, but you could you could address it if you wanted to. But I'm not asking the question, so I wouldn't even I wouldn't even um, deal with it because I said, yeah, that, it's not. I don't know how I got my email address, but yeah, that's my best phone number to, to call you back at. I'm like, okay, great. Would you like me to email you too, or you know, you could say something like that. Uh, that's kind of a sidebar. Yeah, the Marcy. point I want. Yeah, Marcy. Go, of, go ahead, Marcy. Can you all get it? <laughs> hang on, hang on one second. So the point I want to make with with uh, with with Amaru is, listen, we got to get comfortable with the script, okay? So you're just not comfortable with it, and that's okay. It takes practice. So it's, uh, all the all the feedback that we give you is going to be subordinate. Is going to be after you get comfortable with the script, okay? Uh, you you you're you're saying some things that's because you're nervous. Like, hey, I'm going to put you on the interested to sell list. Some things like internal real estate company jargon that we don't use, right? To the seller, interested to sell, motivation. I'm just following the script. Those are all nervous things that are coming out because you're not comfortable with it. It just takes more practice. So we, we you know, my phone number is there. I told you to hit me up. I, I don't have any messages on WhatsApp from you. I don't know if you do that. You could email me or something. We could get on a Zoom in the REI conveyor belt. We need to do role plays. I mean, you need to do role plays. You can do them with me to practice, to get comfortable with it. You need to practice the script. Okay. Oh, you can do me. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, we had a good role play. Jay, do you want to say a little bit about the role play? You, you've stepped up and taking your business seriously. Uh, just share uh, what we learned. We had a good time, didn't we? Huh? Got to know each other. And well, you speak about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really appreciate it, Graham. I was able to learn how to um, talk, do some rebuttals when you get a hold of a realtor instead of just letting them go because they're a realtor. You want to gauge them and uh, if they have properties listings that um, an investor would be interested in. And yeah. Did, you did took some really good notes, didn't you, Jay? Yeah, I know you took <laughs> some notes, right? I mean, if we role yeah. play now, I think you'd be impressed. So that's why I put my calendar link up there. You can book a call and have a free coaching session. Normally, people
people charge for coaching sessions entirely free all right I'm wow yeah. So, yeah so amaru use me or cody or anybody that's got their telephone number up as they're available to help so uh, uh marcy you had a question i know you got your telephone number up but i'm sure you wouldn't mind helping anyone right yeah i'd be happy to i need the help too so yeah yeah um, i don't really have a question i was just gonna I was just going to say to Amaru, like, uh, I applaud you. It's it's not easy. What you're doing is not easy. Um, but definitely, if you learn the script, it'll make it better. I mean, it's what everyone else has said. But I also, um, at the very beginning, this is just me being an American who talks to call centers. Like, when you have an accent, you have to really slow down because it's hard to understand you. I know that's nerves, but um, I think I had a hard time understanding. I knew what the script was. So in the beginning, just really think about slowing down the intro so they can hear you and understand you as wonderful like, Marcy because I'm English <laughs> well I do speak American now <laughs> but they <laughs> my accent I do have to slow down yes as well so that thank you for bringing that up so slow it down especially very really what you do the, is slow it to the speed of the seller that's uh, if you Notice how slow, if they're slow, you slow down and speak, yeah? So they can understand you, yeah. Excellent. I love this interaction. So does anybody else have any feedback? I know, Bagu, you always have something good. Or Jay, what did you think of the call? Um, well. He did an amazing job. I guess it's understandable because he's not yet um, familiar, I guess, with the script. Um, the better, it's always better to always practice. Um, it, it, it actually helps me um, when I do the, the call calling. I always stand up while I'm looking at the script because it actually releases some, some pressure, <laughs> you know, and it, it actually helps you try it. Believe me, try it while 100%. doing this call call it. Stand up. 100% smiling, smiling while you talk. That helps too. Like all of that. that this is very serious. You know, take a deep breath. Yeah. When, we're, when we're nervous and everything, breathe shallowly. And we, you know, you, you create a, a deficit of oxygen in your brain. You can't think. You, slow it down. Sometimes I talk quickly too. I get excited and I start, you know, it's called sometimes it's called pressured speech where you just blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. talk. Just slow down. Take a take a breath. Say something. Ask a question. We're real estate investors, and we called about your property. We're calling just to see if you're interested in possibly selling. Yeah, I'm interested in selling. What's your offer? That's a great question. That's step two or three of a four-step process. The purpose of this call is just to find out, gauge your interest in selling. What's got you thinking about possibly selling? Oh, I don't want to be a landlord. It's a it's a Airbnb that didn't work out. It's a pad split that didn't work out. I'm getting divorced. I might inherit the place. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is. That's good. Okay. That's your first, you know, the first thing. Whatever they say. So ask a question. Take a breath. Okay. Amaro, you're doing great, man. Just got to keep putting in the reps. I'm being, you know, this is a whole community here. I know I'm being critical of you. It's to build you up and to make you better. And other people have pointed out a lot of the good things about your call too, that you're taking action and doing this. I, I stand behind that and agree with that too. And at the same time, I want you to get better. Marcy gave you great feedback with, with the slow, that's gonna be key, pivotal. You know, we gotta breathe. You know, smile, have fun with this. Care about the person. It's okay to care about these people which we do. And I know from talking to you before, I try to throw something out there about you liking books. My house is an open book. You know what I mean? I care about everybody here. You know, when people talk, I listen. You know what I mean? I see the books in the background and everything like that. And I, you know, I remember you taking extra time at the other company that you worked at working with elderly people. We care. We care here at this, in this organization and it's okay to care. Everybody has their unique gift and their unique contribution and you have yours. You just need to uncover it with these, you know, some of the feedback that we're giving you and let it shine. Okay. You understand me? 
Okay. All right. Yes, sir. That's all. That's all. And, and I want to say, Quentin, I'm going to be picking on you for role play, you know, next time you turn up. So please turn up. <laughs> that's the main thing. I'm not going to frighten you off, but uh, we have the call script. Um, did you get that on the website? The link. Oh, my quick I think it's in the link. Uh, if you scroll back, the REI conveyor belt.com forward slash scripts dash two. So uh, practice that script and anybody else who uh, intends to be on the uh, dialer, uh, practice the script. I would suggest practicing at least 10 times before you get on the phone. And uh, ideally in front of a camera, because you'll see a body language and that helps as well. So does anyone have any questions? And Cody, uh, yes, sir. sir. Go ahead, Quentin. Yep. Uh, yes, I was wanting to know if this is a uh, a daily a routine as far as the Zoom calls. Uh, Monday and, uh, to practice. Thursday. Yeah, we're Monday to Thursday. That's uh, eight thirty uh, p.m. Eastern time, or five thirty Pacific. So. Uh, yeah, Monday to Thursday. Yeah. When are you on Facebook? I was gonna say. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. I just uh, yes, the, sir. I am. I just think I just put the link to our Facebook group. So as Graham said, this is Monday through Thursday, same time, okay. same same Zoom link. Each day there's a little bit different theme. Uh, you know, right now we're doing like yesterday we had a foreclosure training with a foreclosure expert that we've got that's on the team. Uh, that's, uh, you know, kind of teaching us about this new new initiative that we're doing here or, you know, with uh, pre-foreclosure leads. Uh, so each night. That's is little, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So the, each night is a little different as a different theme. We have guest speakers and we have training. The whole point of this, though, is to train uh, and get better. So we do role play, call calibrations, uh, guest speakers, trainings. It's a real anything real estate related. So. Um, I put that link to our Facebook in there so you can get updates about who's coming, guest speakers, and you know changes to the schedule there, um, and and you get information about you know the you know the conveyor belt in general. If you get and if you get time, uh, they are all recorded on Facebook and YouTube, so you could look at the past ones, you know, do your homework, and you'll you, that'll accelerate your learning. You know, it's almost like a cheat code. What what's previous ones? You know, <laughs> and uh, that, that's a good tip. So, I, I, Angie, you got a question? Yeah, I wanted to ask about something too. Today, I got someone saying that he doesn't really have properties in U.S. He had it in other countries, Brazil, and he mentioned another country. Um, are we are we like uh, dealing with these guys? Great question. Or is it strictly in U.S.? Uh, as far as I know, it's just U.S. What, Shad, do you want to address that? I, I didn't catch it. It just came out of that break. What is it? What's the question? Uh, do we uh, discount properties in uh, other countries besides the U.S.? Negative. No. Not, not right now. Uh, we don't, we're not international yet. That will be possibly in the future. Hopefully in the future, but at this moment we don't buy anything. Um, I have a couple of people in Canada, but literally when I say a couple, I mean two. We have two people that might even be able to look at that. Uh, we're not there yet. In the future, hopefully. Great question, though. <laughs> Great question. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Okay, yes. if there's no more questions, then we're going to go ahead and wrap up tonight. We're uh, about three minutes mm -hmm. over. I uh, do want to remind you, I put the link to our Facebook group. Yeah. There. Um, so, you know, join. If you haven't joined already, invite your friends, family, even enemies to come join. Uh, <laughs> this is Thursday. Thursday, so this is the last day. I'm going to give you the same admonishment, the same warning, the same uh, request that I give you every Thursday. Don't let this be the last time we practice anything related to real estate. Don't let it be until Monday that we come back and practice. So let's get some reps in. My phone number is there. Graham's phone number is there. Marcy's phone number is there. Chung's phone number is there. That's how you get a hold of me. 
That's how you get a hold of us. If you need some help, reach out anytime. Uh, but until third, till Monday, we're going to call it good. And we'll see everybody back here, same time, same Zoom link, Monday. All right, everybody have a great Friday, great weekend. And please reach out if we could be of any help. Okay, uh, thank you so everyone. much. All right, good night. Study your script. Everybody have a good one. Study the script. Most definitely.